okay uh, this is the panel diagram for uh, dielectric constant setup so here basically we have two main unit uh, the first one is this uh, from where you will supply the uh, current to heat up the oven and then back from the oven we have this uh, resistant uh, dependent temperature that send the temperature of the oven which will be indicated by this uh, DPM or the digital panel uh, monitor <coughs> so uh, basically uh, these are the two main component and then one wire from here will be connected to this probe terminal here uh, which will indicate as the capacitance so basically here uh, what we will uh, take is the reading of the capacitance and that of the temperature that is uh, what we have here okay uh, here is the apparatus this is the oven and this is the main unit uh, so uh, inside the oven again we have this uh, two probe or two terminal and then uh, we will connect the sample very shortly we will insert the sample I mean so uh, from this part of this uh, oven one is connected to this uh, temperature uh, sensor and then another one is connected to this uh, capacitance uh, sensor where, where it will send the capacitance of the uh, sample so uh, basically here we will we have to find the dielectric constant of this sample so uh, when we on it uh, you will get the capacitance and then the temperature so later on when you have to find the Curie temperature you have to just plot the graph between the temperature and the uh, dielectric constant so now we will on the setup and then we will uh, take the reading okay uh, just before we on the apparatus let's just insert the sample first so here we are using barium titanate as our sample so uh, first of all you uh, have to pull up this ter this terminal and then we have uh, aluminum foil so we will keep this all aluminum foil first I'll pull this and then let me pull them both of them and then uh, let me keep the aluminum foil right there okay after that is done then you release this gently now after this is done so let's uh, I'll keep the barium titanate sample under one of this so now this is done and then I will put down this gently we should not uh, put it down uh, we should not apply much force otherwise the, if we apply it, uh, so much force then the, even the sample might break so we have to be very gentle while uh, putting down this probe so now our connection uh, our sample has been placed inside so I'll keep it inside and then we will on the apparatus Okay, so uh, right now you can see the uh, temperature it shows is uh, 20 we have not on the oven yet so basically this is just the room temperature only so now we will on the oven and then uh, we will set first the temperature so here we uh, there is no indicator that tell us what is the set temperature but approximately we have to uh, set it okay so we'll just keep it at some point and then we will on the oven so right now the oven is on 
but the green LED light is not showing so let me just adjust the set temperature so such that the oven is activated okay, it's not showing there must be some problem uh, what happened? Okay, uh, so uh, this knot here actually we can, it's for us to adjust the temperature manually, we have to set it. So uh, we will set it to some uh, temperature, so we have to do some approximation here. So uh, let's say we keep it to some point here. And then later on we have to adjust it uh, slowly okay so and when it is close to Kirui temperature we have to adjust it uh, very uh, accurately or or in a very small step so so that we can get the accurate uh, reading so that's uh, what is the function of this set temperature so right now you can see that uh, oven is on the temperature is increasing and then the capacitance is also increasing so right now the capacitance is uh, okay it has become 12 100 and then 24 temperature so in this way when the temperature of the oven increases the capacitance also we see that it increases so we will take this reading put it on the table and then the rest is just the calculation part only so to find the, the dielectric constant you just have to divide the this capacitance of this uh, sample divided by the capacitance of the uh, free space or capacitance of vacuum uh, so that's how you will get the dielectric constant so that's it so the rest of the reading we will uh, send it to you okay uh, what happened here is actually uh, Whenever the temperature exit our set value, actually the uh, oven went off automatically. So whenever that uh, that situation happen, you have to increase the set temperature a, a little bit again. So you have to increase it by a small uh, by a small distance and again it will exceed the that set value again it will went off it will become off so you have to keep on increasing it little bit at a time okay. Okay. Okay.